to a famous Vietnamese folk song, um, Water Ferns Drift, Clouds Float Far. It's a very old folk song about love, about a girl waiting for her boy or a boy waiting for his girl. I love this folk song because of its beautiful melody and lyrics, which make it comparable to a masterpiece by Franz Schubert, and because it is truly Vietnamese. It's the reflection of the Vietnamese soul which bonds the people of Vietnam together throughout many centuries of ups and downs, of revolutions and wars. In many parts of the world today, people have begun to talk about uh, the rights of animals, and the rights of Mother Nature, um, when at the same time, in many other parts of the world, uh, countries are still facing with um, terrorism and the rise of extremism. And also at the same time, in many other parts of the world, like Vietnam, we, the people, are still having to face, to, to fight for our basic rights to be exercised and to be respected. Right at the moment when I was performing this folk song, a Vietnamese court in our police-dominated communist country uh, had sentenced a 20-year-old uh, student to six years in prison and uh, four years under house arrest. Also last year, in 2017, um, the police-dominated court of Vietnam sentenced uh, two young women, um, Thuy Nga and Nguyen Ngoc Nhi Quỳnh, to nine and ten years in prison, just because they had peacefully exercised uh, their criticism of the government. So, in Vietnam, right at this moment, um, dissent, voices of dissent are still being suppressed, and we are still having to fight the struggle for our for all the Vietnamese to be treated with equal respect. Um, by performing this song, I just wish, wish that someday uh, we, the Vietnamese, will not have to fight with any tyrannical state, any communist, uh, terrorist, or any other evil. I just wish that we could, uh, at the time, we could just uh, play our favorite music, uh, read our favorite books, write our favorite tale, and write our favorite stories, nurture our soul and join with other countries to build a world of tolerance for all. And I'm very happy to be granted the Homo Homini Award this year, for which I'm grateful to people in it. And I will be all the more grateful to people in it and to you, if you could help me raise a voice about the human rights situation and the lack of democracy in Vietnam for a better common future. Thank you. <laughs> 